Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, welcome to another video in the Divi for Beginners series. In this one, we're going to show you how to set up the default footer for your Divi website. So let's go down to our dashboard. We're going to go down to Appearance and then Customize. You can also go down to Divi and Theme Customizer. They'll both take you to the same place. And that's going to take us to this page here. If we roll down to the bottom of the page here, there's a generic footer right at the bottom. It says designed by Elegant Themes, powered by WordPress. They've got a Facebook, an X, or what was Twitter, and an Instagram icon, as, long as, as well as an RSS feed. If we go back up here and roll down a bit, we've got a footer right there. If we click on it, it's going to take us to this menu here. If we look at the layout, you can decide how many columns you want to have in your footer right here. Just click on it, it'll drop down and show you the various options for your columns there, and there's plenty of them. Footer background color, self-explanatory obviously below. If I change the color of this, you'll see it change at the bottom there. Let's change that back to how it was, just hit the default button there. Great, when you're happy with your colors and layout, let's go back one. We'll go down to widgets just down below there. This is the widget area and it's just like a regular WordPress widget area. You can add widgets from your WordPress library. For anybody that doesn't know what I'm talking about, if I go back down to my dashboard here, we go down to appearance. We look down here, we've got widgets. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. For anybody that doesn't, this is where your widgets are. If you want to add a new one, hit the plus sign. And there's various different widgets you can use. And drag them to where you want them there. Now, quite a lot of the time, you don't want any widget area down the bottom here. And I'll show you how to remove that in a minute. But while we're in here, you can change the header, text size there, bold, italicize, capitalize, underline if you want to and they're all pretty self-explanatory. Body link text size, any links you've got. Body link line height, height between items. Font start style, it's exactly the same thing for your body link there. Widget text color, it's white there. Widget link color, it's also set to white. Widget header color, set to blue at the moment. Obviously change it to whatever color you want by clicking on the color field. Turn them to whatever colors works for you. And you can select the color here. You can roll this around the color palette down below to change the colors there. Or you can type in a hex code down there. Now the widgets have got little bullet points there. You can choose a color. Again, just click on the color palette. Select the color you want. Simple as that. When you make any changes within your customizer, you want to make sure to publish when you're ready to leave. And that'll make the changes permanent. Now, if you decide you don't want this area right here with the widgets, because Divi's got so many big features built in already, we can go back over to our widgets area. And if we look over here, we've got footer area one, two, three, four. If you hit one of the little chevrons, it'll tell you there's our archives and categories. Archives and categories. If you don't want them there, simply left click on it. Go over, hit the little three dots, and you can delete the widget that way. And we'll do the same for the one below. I'm just left clicking, three dots, hitting the delete. Or you can hit Shift Alt Z as well, three dots. Okay, we've taken away those widgets now. We want to make sure we go up to the update button just at the top here. Once I've updated, if we go back to that site, let's roll down to the bottom. There's the widget area. If I refresh now, we're just left with our footer at the bottom there. No longer got that widget area. You can do it also with a bit of CSS code, but I'll leave that for when I'm doing a bit of coding for you. Great, so we removed that. Now, obviously, you're going to want to style your footer to make it your own. So let's go back in there now to our customizer. We'll go back from the widgets down to footer elements. I click on that one. 
you can choose whether to show the social icons or not. And I'll show you how to put your links in in just a moment. Obviously, check that if you don't want the socials down there. And I better mention now, the easiest way, I, I hardly ever use this bar myself. I usually make a custom one. And they're really easy to make. And we will be covering those in future videos. But for anybody that wants to use this one, this is how you do it. If we go back, that's how to show your icons or not. Let's go down to our bottom bar now. We can go down to the footer menu, but I've got, actually got no menu on our footer at the moment. If you had a menu module in there, you could style the coloring, background color, text color, active link color here, letter spacing, font style and font size. I've actually got no menus built at the moment because we haven't done that. We'll be doing that in future videos. But if you did want to add a menu to your footer, you can do it by going back, back again, we're on the customizer homepage here. If we go down, we've got menus here. View all locations. You can go down. Here's the footer. When you've got some menus saved, they'll appear here. Like I say, I've got none saved at the moment. You can add one by selecting it there for the footer and hitting your publish bar. That's great. Well, let's go back. And back into the footer again and back into the bottom bar. Here you can select your background color. That's the background color of the bar itself. I make it black. Maybe it passed the other way back. We've got a deep black there, obviously. But as usual, put in any hex color or RGBA color you want there. Change your text color here. Again, just click on the field. Let's make that a bit lighter. As you can see, that text is changing there. Same style options, bold, italicized, capitalized, underline font size there obviously social icon size it's the size of our little icons here social icon color again change it to whatever you want let's make them orange just for fun and you can disable footer credits if you want to by checking this little box here i mean divi is great but you probably don't want to advertise them on your personal site there by checking that box or put in your own credits by just typing something in here Let's do copyright. I'll use an alt code for the copyright symbol by simply holding my alt key down and typing 0169. That'll give us the copyright code. And then whatever you want to say. And as you can see, that's a pit right there. Like I say, that's the generic bottom bar right there. We've started it, but of course you're going to put, want to put the links in for your socials. So let's show you how to do that. We've actually got to go to a different page to do this today. So let's publish all our changes that we've made down here. Make them all permanent. I'm going to go back down to my dashboard where we were where we did the widget area. Once in your dashboard, let's go down to Divi and theme options. Once you get to the general tab, roll down. And here we are. We've got your Facebook. Put your URL in there. There's X or Twitter. Put the URL of your Twitter in there, Instagram, and the URL of an RSS feed if you're using one, you can put in right there. Once you make any changes here, make sure you go up to the top or down to the bottom, hit the green Save Changes button, and you're good to go. So there you go, guys. There's how to set up the footer options and bottom bar options for your Divi site. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Let's just refresh this. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.